Uh, we're going to take a look at the Arlington Heights subdivision today. We're going to look at a few homes. Before we do, I wanted to go over some of the pros and cons of living in the Arlington Heights area. <music> Three major pros. First pro is you are conveniently located to everything in this part of town. So Camp Bow and Hewlin are both nearby streets. They can basically take you anywhere. Very convenient location. Number two, you're home to the best coffee in Fort Worth. You're gonna see me give you a, a shot of Fort Worth Coffee Company right off of Camp Bowie. Fantastic, one of my favorites in all of the Metroplex. Uh, and I've tried a bunch of them. Number three is you got Kincaid's. We have some of the best burgers in Fort Worth also right here in this area, just uh, you know, within a mile away. So you have a good good burger joint. By that, you really, you have a lot of culinary opportunities, a lot of food, restaurants, places to eat. So location, coffee, food, just a great area all around. Rich history, strong community, lots of sidewalks, family friendly, overall a really good area. What are the cons? Well, cons are the homes are older. A lot of them are built in the 40s, so you might have to update the plumbing. When I say plumbing, there's one thing in particular that I'm more concerned about, and that's gonna be the sewer line that runs from the house to the street. We see a lot of people having to get that replaced because it's cast iron. That can be, you know, eight to $10,000 to get that done from time to time. So the, the plumbing line would be, you know, that would be the sort of thing that you have to take note of when you're looking at older homes. Number two, property taxes in Tarrant County are relatively high. So this isn't specific to Arlington Heights, but it is taking account of Tarrant County in general. So you might be looking at several areas and that's one thing to certainly take note of. This home right here behind me is actually for lease. I don't have the details, but just walking around the neighborhood, I saw it. So you will have some really nice homes. It's probably 4,000 a month. I'm just spitballing. But no, another con of living in the Arlington Heights subdivision age of the home, property taxes. It's going to be in the southwest portion of the Metroplex. So potentially if you're working in the North Fort Worth area, say at Lockheed Martin or somewhere like that, you're going to have a little bit further travel time to get from the southwest portion. So there's a lot of jobs up in the northern part. So you got to take into account this location. So that is a potential con. So there's just some pros and cons of living here in Arlington Heights. Let's take a look at some homes. Let's get a feel for what we're looking at here today day and then we'll we'll jump right into it all right we're starting a tour around the arlington heights neighborhood this is one of the premier neighborhoods in fort worth this was something that was purchased 2,000 acres back in the 90s from some folks that that had owned the property up to that point he did start a hotel and it burned down so he ended up having a, a failed thing and some folks began to move or into this area and during world war one government were moving people around uh, so it has a rich history great neighborhood fantastic location and uh, we're going to take a look at a, a few properties out here in the neighborhood we're walking out here now we are standing in front of this bakery here which is a great little spot to stop if you get a chance it is right next to the original mexican restaurant fantastic spot as well it used to be we've kind of had some hit or miss here lately so we are standing right next to a church here. This is a church that I used to go to. Uh, we planted in another city, so, but it's a fantastic church. Lots of great folks here. Highly recommend you check it out. So just a, a great group of people. There is a school that meets there, a classical Christian school. So if it's something you're interested in, that's also something that you could check out as well. So we are basically in between Hewlin and Camp Bowie right now, two of the main highways in Fort Worth. This neighborhood, most of the homes out here are our older homes a lot of them have been renovated but it's just a great neighborhood overall so we're going to look at two properties one's going to be under 500,000 one is going to be closer to a million there's a pretty wide range there's like 40 homes for sale in this neighborhood right now and they range from 300 up to 2 million so it depends on what you want what you can afford what you're looking for great neighborhood sidewalks a uh, great opportunity to go for family walks lots of mature trees so it's just a, a fantastic spot so uh, let's go ahead and jump into it before we do if this is your first time to the channel we really appreciate you tuning in be sure to click that subscribe button and press that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about any updates that are taking place here in the Fort Worth area um, and as always we have people just like you that are looking at neighborhoods in Fort Worth maybe they're relocating next week maybe next month or even next year feel free to reach out to me give me a call shoot me a text send me an email we'd love the chance to connect with you and uh, give you any advice that we can so look forward to hearing from you let's go look at some of those properties 
All right, we're continuing our tour around Arlington Heights. So we're taking a look around. We're gonna look at two properties. The first one is gonna be at 269,000. It's just a small two bed, one bath, around 800 square foot, built in 1943. Um, taxes on it are about $5,000 per year annually. So I want to show you this property here. We're going to turn around and take a look at it. As I said, it's just a smaller home that has been basically completely renovated and you can get it under 300,000. Uh, so I know that the size 800 square foot, it might not be what a lot of folks are looking for, um, but I'm just trying to show the variety of the neighborhood. 269, we're about to go look at one that's going to be just under a million, like 900 and something. And there's everything in between. As you can see around me, you know, nice sidewalks, people are running, jogging, walking their dog, going out with their families. On my way here, I actually passed a group of students that were walking from school to a park. So you have just a very nice community, safe, very family friendly, good, strong sense of community out here. And it's just a, a, a nice area. So beautiful trees and especially, you know, during the spring, highly recommend you uh, you check out the neighborhood if you're looking at being in the southwest portion of fort worth this is one of the premier neighborhoods that you you want to check out for a kind of a historic feel home not really many new constructions you know new construction homes out here if you're looking for something new modern this is probably not going to be the ideal area but if you love history and you love having a rich history in a neighborhood and that in that sense of uh things have significance then it, good place to check out highly recommend it uh, so let's go take a look at the next one like i said it's going to be just under a million so we'll take a look at it and then we'll get to the map view and we'll do a google map view and, and try to get some drone footage of the area uh, we're continuing our tour of arlington heights subdivision this is a rather large subdivision and today we are going to take a look at a property that is right at 1 million. It's actually 967,000. So we're just taking a stroll down. Uh, lots of people are out spring around the corner. People are cleaning the yards up, blowing leaves to just a, getting close to a beautiful time of the year. The weather's great today, not too hot. So really beautiful day out. We should see everything starting to green up. But I am walking uh, down this road and I just wanted to show you a few of the homes. This is one of the more premier areas of Arlington Heights. You see lots of diversity in the way these elevations are as far as the, the appearance of the homes. Um, this is not a cookie cutter home by any stretch of the imagination. Very unique homes, unique layouts, unique elevations. Uh, it's one of my favorite things about the home. One of the things you'll notice too as I'm walking is that most of the trees are mature trees that add a lot of character to the neighborhood. Not only does it provide shade, but it also provides a good deal of character. I really love the, the, the trees in the neighborhood, and it's one of the things that I look for. I prefer more developed neighborhoods rather than brand new, brand new homes and brand new neighborhoods with very small trees. So right now we are standing in front of the property that I wanted to show you. So this one is listed on the market at 967,000, and it is a four bed, four bath, 4385 heated square foot. They're asking 967 for it. Um, it was built in 1985, and it is just a fantastic home. It does have an in-ground pool, so it's just a great opportunity, great property all around. So I hope you enjoyed this, and we're gonna go take a look at a map tour and, and then put together from there. Now it's time to do the Google map view of Arlington Heights. So we're gonna do a share screen here, and we're gonna look at Arlington Heights subdivision from a map view look at the major streets that are around Arlington Heights, look at some drone footage that I took while I was out in the field, and then we will wrap up our video of Arlington Heights. So let's go ahead and jump into a quick share screen so you can see the Google map view. So looking at Arlington Heights, if we were to zoom out just a little bit, we would see that we're moving southwest from Fort Worth. So we're moving southwest from Fort Worth and we have this little zone here that is actually quite a large neighborhood. You can see a couple of main highways, 377 being one. You can also see if you zoom out a little bit that you have 820 that wraps up here and I-20, which is here. So from I-20, you can take the exit and travel down this way to Arlington Heights if you're coming up from that direction. If you're coming 
in from Dallas, then you're going to take 30, I-30 uh, coming in, and you're going to take an exit and, and get off that way. So Arlington Heights is right off of this main interstate. So you can you can use this interstate to travel basically anywhere you want. So it's very conveniently located, very quick access to the interstate for travel. Just overall, a, a really, really great location. So if we zoom in a little bit and begin to take a closer look at the roads, you'll see two main roads that will cross through Arlington Heights. Number one, you have Camp Bowie. Number two, you have Hewlin. Hewlin will actually tee off here with Camp Bowie. So if you continue going down Hewlin, you'll run into the Hewlin Mall and there's lots of restaurants and things that you'll find traveling down Hewlin Street. Camp Bowie obviously is one of the, one of the main roads in this area of Fort Worth and basically they both tee up here with in in the middle of arlington heights so again main highways quick access to the interstate a very rich history of properties and of development that has gone on with this particular neighborhood now i want to share with you a quick look at uh, some drone footage that i got while i was out so let me let me back up just a little bit so if you want to know arlington heights we are basically looking at Hewlin is here. Hewlin runs right here and it's gonna run all the way down. So if you wanna know where Hewlin is, Camp Bowie is gonna be directly behind us. So if I was to back the drone up by another 100 feet, we will be looking at, at Camp Bowie. So looking at where I was having coffee, for example, Fort Worth Coffee Company is gonna be right to the right here. Now I'm gonna play this and so you can see the burger place that I went to eat and gave you some footage is right here. So this is Kincaid's. So walking distance here. This is Camp Bowie. All of this is Camp Bowie. So hopefully that gives some clarity to the neighborhood. Um, as you can see, beautiful neighborhood. It is an older, more developed community, but it's just fantastic location, really hard to beat. So we are looking at Arlington Heights today. We are standing in front of Fort Worth Coffee Company. This is what I would say the best coffee around the Metroplex. It's my favorite coffee joint. I've been to a bunch of them, Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, and this is one of my absolute favorites. There's another good one up in Dallas, but we'll just stick with this one. This one is probably my favorite in all the Metroplex. You need to check it out, great stuff. We stop here and do work all the time. My wife teaches at a school that's about 10 seconds away from here, literally a stone's throw. And so I stop here and do work before I pick the kids up from school from time to time. So highly recommend you check it out. Very convenient. It is located in Arlington Heights. Arlington Heights is home of, you know, the best coffee in Fort Worth. So you're right here in Arlington Heights. Great location off of Camp Bowie and Hewlin. So go and check it out if you get a chance. Highly recommend. All right, we are looking at Arlington Heights and we are looking at two of the places that I find very appealing about Arlington Heights. Number one was the Fort Worth Coffee Company. And now we are looking at Ken Cade's Burger Joint. This is some of the best burgers in town. Highly recommend that you check it out. And not only the burgers, but the onion rings. Uh, these are the kind of burgers and onion rings that leave the good stuff dripping off the elbows. So highly recommend you check it out. There's a long standing fight going on in the Shelton household of whether you should eat ketchup or ranch with the onion rings. Let me know what you think. Go check them out and tell me what you think. Uh, they're fantastic. Really uh, homemade onion rings are some of the best I've ever had. And, uh, and I've eaten at a lot of joints. So this is in the Arlington Heights subdivision. So I, we're sitting right by Camp Bowie and we're you know, just a, a quarter mile from the, from, the coffee, from the coffee shop that we were at. So man, go and check it out. Fantastic place, great burgers, great onion rings. And this is one of the things you can have walking distance from Arlington Heights. So if you go check it out, send me a note, give me a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, also tune in and, and to the next video, we're gonna be doing uh, a pros and cons of Benbrook, which is on the Southwest portion. It's a suburb of Fort Worth. So tune into that video and hope to see you around town. All right, so before we sign off, I mentioned a few things about the Arlington Heights history. So before we finish the video, I wanted to give you a few tidbits and, and kind of put it all into two or three sentences. So I mentioned a Denver, Colorado developer named HB Chamberlain. He bought 2000 acres and this was, uh, this was years ago, back in, around 1894. He actually died in an accident, a bicycle accident in London and Arlington Heights ended up being developed after the United States moved military personnel around World War One. 
So during World War I, there were military being moved around and Arlington Heights was developed during that time. But before we sign off today, there's one more thing I wanted to share with you about Arlington Heights. I've mentioned some of the rich history. I just wanted to give you a quick snapshot. There's actually a book, about 120 pages. If you have interest in it, just ping me. I can send it to you. It's on Amazon. You can find it. It's about Arlington Heights. If something that you want to follow up with, just ping me. I can give you the address. I don't have it on hand right now, uh, but I can give you the Amazon link to uh, the book. There's a few left in stock. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this tour around Arlington Heights. And as always, we get calls, texts, and people from people just like you that are thinking about relocating to Fort Worth, maybe for work, maybe for retirement. And, and sometimes they want to find out kind of different things about different cities and different neighborhoods. So feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd love the chance to connect with you and give you any advice that we can. And as always, if we don't hear from you, we hope to see you around Fort Worth sometime.